Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually level up quickly and by yourself and the amazing thing about this specific RP method is that this is actually for players who are very very low level so let's go ahead and just get started on this but first I would like to go ahead and get on with their daily shoutouts which is going to go to all of these people so everyone you see below the screen here have been subscribed since the last video was published. So thank you for that. And if you guys like to be featured in the next shout out, all you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also comment down below. Not only does this help with the video's ratings, but you also get in the next shout out. Alright, so starting off with this, the first thing you want to do is make your way into any GT Online session. For this one, you could be in a public, invite only, honestly, it doesn't matter. Alright, so just starting off with this, go ahead and just make your way into any GTA 5 online session. This can be a public, invite only, honestly, doesn't matter. Now, before we actually go, we're going to be doing a mission for this, but there are two things that I recommend. It's not needed, but it will definitely help you out. The first one is going to be the Kanjali Tank. Which you can purchase off of the Warstock Cash and Carry website. So if you just keep scrolling down, you will eventually find it. And this is it. And now it is worth the $2,895,000. So it is a pretty expensive one. But it's definitely going to be useful for this. Now if you don't have that money and would like to be on the cheaper side. You can always purchase the Armored Kuruma. Which you can purchase from Southern San Andreas Super Autos. From here, just scroll down. There's going to be a regular carry Kuruma. Don't get that one. Instead, get the armored one. Now, this is worth $525,000. And you can get this in any paint. Now, what makes this so good is that you can actually get this bulletproof. So, no one can shoot through the actual car. From here, just go ahead and purchase it. And for this one, I'm going to be using the Kanjali tank. Once you have everything ready, you want to press options, go to online, go to jobs, go to play jobs, go down to Rockstar Created, head down to T-Find Missions, and the one we're going to be doing is the Repo RV nearly there. So this one is it, of course, it unlocks at rank 1, which is why anyone can do this. You can also do this completely solo or up to 4 players. From here, just go ahead and start it up. When you get to the settings screen, make sure to set the difficulty to hard mode for the most amount of RP and cash. You can also purchase super heavy armor. You're not really going to need it um, if you have a vehicle. But if you don't, then you're probably going to want to get some super heavy armor. From here, just confirm settings and then start the job up. Alright, so for this one, it's actually very simple. All you have to do is steal an RV, which is going to be on the north part of Los Santos into a Blaine County. Now from here, you just gotta steal the brigade, deliver it back to this actual area here, which is the dealership, and that is it. So I'm going to be using the Ganjali tank, and because it takes such a long time to get there, I'm going to first drive a vehicle there, and then call it in. Of course, with the armor Kuruma, it's pretty fast, so you can probably just use that. Alright, so I actually got there, and I have my tank right now called in. So one thing you don't want to do is blow these vehicles up. This will cause it to kind of create just a line of vehicles exploding and will hurt the brigade. So make sure you do not do that. There will be NPCs surrounding it, so make sure to just go ahead and kill them. They do grant you around 25 RP each, and they will be used for our RP method. So let's just go ahead, get rid of them real quick, and not try not to get ran over. And now what we're going to do is quickly get inside the brigade and then quickly get out. You just want to get in there long enough to where it tells you to deliver it back to its dealership. And that's when the NPCs will start spawning in. So they did spawn in a little bit earlier than I needed them to. I'm trying to get back in my tank though. So from here what you want to do is just go over it to the very end of the Sandy Shores airfield. From here what will happen is that the NPCs will start spawning into these trucks just like that. And this will grant you around 62 RP each depending on how many players are inside of that truck. So let's go ahead and just quickly drive over there real quick. So now at the end they should start spawning directly in front of you. So you see here and then from here just blow them up. And this is where you get around 62 RP. 
Now you can actually do this for a good bit of time until they do eventually stop spawning in or you run out of uh, missiles on your tank or on your presser or whatever vehicle that you're using. Or if you just suck at shooting like I do, you could also run out of missiles quick like that. But basically all you're trying to do is just spam kill them and they give you around 62 RP each. And you just gotta wait it out. So I believe it's after the 5 to 10 minute mark is when they stop granting you RP. Then after that, I'll show you guys exactly what you do from there. But first, let's go and tell our sponsor for today's video. Have you ever been broke in GTA and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from $99 just to a million? That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily, we have OP mods. OP Mods is a GTA 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a 5 star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you and back to the video. Alright, so I did actually manage to rank up to level 446. Did not think I'd be seeing it in this video, but I actually did, so that is pretty crazy. Just wanted to show you guys that, that even people who are at a very, very high rank, such as myself, can still do this and rank up from it. But it will take a lot longer uh, than you just saw here. It'll probably take you a couple days, so it isn't the best method for anyone over level 100, but I still want to show you guys, it is still decent for anyone who's over 100. But this one is mainly for people who are under that. So I believe at this point, I stopped getting RP. If that happens, that is totally fine. They probably made it like that just because of this exploit. Now basically, if you want to keep getting RP, there's two different ways. You can one, press options, go to online, find new session, go to an invite only, and just reset it from there. Or what I like to do, because it does make this a lot easier, is just to run up to everybody and let them shoot you. Once there, you can actually respawn. It does give me a second life. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Now that I died, it should fail the mission. And then from here, I can just go and replay it. It does give you a good bit of money. So this is probably a better reason to why you want to do this. Because it also does give you bonus RP. Now from here, what you want to do is just go and replay it. And just do it over and over again. Now, of course, uh, whatever way you feel like, whatever way is convenient for you, you can do that. And there you go, you just keep replaying this over and over again. Anyway, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and content like this. With that being said, you guys have a great one. Stay safe out there, and goodbye. So me and OP Mods have branded together to do the first ever modded giveaway. Now, in order to participate in this, is actually very simple. All you gotta do is subscribe to this YouTube channel and then comment how I can contact you to give you the modded giveaway if you win. Now, I do email, Instagram, and Twitter. So, go ahead, post whatever your Twitter, Instagram, or uh, email is in the comment section and that's how I will reach you. And then from here, what I'm going to do is at the end of February... Starting on it March 1st, I'm just going to go and spin a wheel with everyone's names on it that participated and then whoever gets chosen wins. Now this only applies once, so if you comment down once, you will automatically be entered in and you cannot do it more than that. And then I will announce the modded giveaway winner on March 3rd.